It was in 1977 that woman Diana Spencer, then, at that point, 16, was first acquainted with a 29-year-old ruler Charles. Charles, Diana's oldest sister, Lady Sarah McCorkadale's guest, was at Althorpe, the Spencer family home, for a grouse shooting party. Welcome viewers to my channel, please subscribe, like my video and turn on notifications so you don't miss our next update. At the time, Charles was dating Sarah for a brief time. During that time, Sarah reportedly told two reporters about her royal romance, revealing that she had an eating disorder, thousands of boyfriends, and would not marry Charles if he were the dustman or the king of England. The relationship ended shortly after Charles saw the article and told her, you've just done something extremely stupid, according to sources. Diana's experience was different from her sister's, as Prince Charles did not quite sweep her off her feet. Tina Brown wrote in the Diana Chronicles that Diana apparently told her friends that she would marry Charles one day and that he would be, the one man on the planet who is not allowed to divorce me. Be that as it may, Diana later told biographer Andrew Morden, creator of Diana, her true story states that she recalled thinking, God, what a sad man, rather than gushing about Charles at first. In his commitment interview in 1981, Charles said, I thought what a carefree and entertaining and appealing 16-year-old she was. I mean, a lot of fun, lively, and alive in every way. Charles and Diana didn't meet again until three years later, after their first encounter. They were both invited to Philip de Passe's house in Sussex for a weekend barbecue in July 1980. I hadn't seen him in ages, Diana told her speech coach on a tape that was later used for the Channel 4 documentary Diana, I was asked to stay with some friends in Sussex and they said the Prince of Wales is staying. She continued, he'd just broken up with his girlfriend, and his friend Mountbatten had just been killed, according to her own words. I said seeing him would be great, I wasn't impressed at all, I stayed there and this man strolled in and I thought, all things considered, I'm very dazzled this time round. I was unique. Charles, according to Diana, was also taken by her. In the tapes, she said, he was all over me. I added, you must be so lonely. We were talking about Mountbatten and his girlfriend. I said, it's pitiful to watch you walk up the aisle with Mountbatten's coffin in front of you, it's horrible. You need someone to stand beside you. I thought, ugh, this is not what people do, as he jumped upon me and began kissing me. He also followed me around like a puppy the remainder of the evening and was all over me. Diana also shared how difficult it was to start a relationship with a prince, he wasn't consistent with his courting abilities. After calling me every day for a week, he stopped calling me for three weeks. Very odd, okay, I thought. If he wants me, he knows where I am. When he used to call, the excitement was so great and intense. It would drive the other three young ladies in my level insane. 